Hello, everybody. This game is, is a Protoss mirror between one of my friends, Adrenal. It's from Britain. So, in honor of him, I'm going to talk in this really awful British accent. No, I'm not, because I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna lose all 19 of my viewers. So anyway, his opponent is Lel Rayner. Clever name. Uh, I actually watched this on uh, Adrenal's live stream. It's also known as Rag Rag to an orc on WCR. If you ever visit WCR, he's the head of Shoutcast in there. Watched it on his live stream. It's a pretty impressive game. So I asked him to give me the replay, and he actually already had it on top replay. So. Um, so. Things worked out perfectly, and it was a great game, so for once I'm actually not going to do a live cast, uh, since I already know really what happens in this game. And, uh, yeah, let's just sit back and enjoy. Or you can sit back and enjoy, I have to cast this thing. Oh, boo -hoo. Anyways, 12 gate, it's 11 gate, never mind. 11 gate for Adrenal. 12 gate for... Lalay, Lel Rainer. And so that means that if you do the math right, Adrenal's gateway is actually going to come out a little earlier because he built his at 11 slot. And Lel Rainer has this probe just patrolling around. And Adrenal over here. I guess it's not. I guess Red Rag to an orc wouldn't make sense in StarCraft. Maybe he'll change his name back to Red Rag to an orc when, uh, Warcraft 4 comes out. For now, it's just boring old adrenal. No more red rag to an orc. Chrono boost. You could chrono boost this uh, probe. Ah, well. See, these both these probes have been in their opponent's base for a very long time. And that's actually, that actually usually happens in Protoss Mirror quite often, because you can do pull off some wacky stuff in Protoss Mirror and have no idea what's going on because, I mean, Protoss doesn't have Scanner Sweep or something, so they want to make sure they know exactly what's going down, so to speak. The cybernetic score is going down for Lel Rainer. And Geno Sino, cybernetic score is already up. He's going to be able to get more beats and stock in the centuries. Again, Lel Rainer's probe over here uh, hiding out of sight from Adrenal coming in occasionally just to make sure everything's normal. Three gate for Adrenal at the moment anyway. Only one for Lel Rainer. Uh, probe is getting chased by the Zealot. Oh, the Zealot's going to catch it. Yeah, something tells me that you know, the Zealot's not going to win in a foot race against this like jetpack thing. I guess a machine unless. So probe, or a pylon is going down from Adrenal in the base of Lel Rainer. You see where this is going? Nice one, dude. Uh, especially the warp gates are interesting. No, it's not. Wait, what is going down? This is so confusing. Oh, never mind. My theory is that Adrenal actually spilled tea on his keyboard. And so that's why he built like five five pylons. Actually, or you could also uh, maybe guess that the warp gate well, the research wasn't ready yet, so you had to get the warp gates ready before you could uh, before you warp in some units. Uh, that's why it was but uh, I prefer the theory that he and he just sort of forgot that his warp gates weren't ready. I kind of prefer the theory that his. Uh, that he spilled tea on his keyboard. Which, uh, I heard it's pretty common to do, but you know, I wouldn't know because I'm American. Uh, Warp Gate's been a low reader as well. It's only got three, though. You can see Adrenal went for four gate. Why is there a Chrono Boost on these Warp Gates? That's odd. Does it actually decrease cooldown if you do that? I didn't know that. That's sick. Does it? It does. I think. Anyway, so zealots are spawning in the Lord Raider's base. For the most part, stalkers aren't really having any trouble with them, so they're getting a lot of probe kills, as you can see here. Very unsaturated. More zealots getting warped in. I guess we don't see a stalker, but he's low on gas or something. He's alright in gas. I guess he's just going for probe kills, that's fine. Pylon goes down. 
So that didn't really... Well, it wasn't a game winner, but... You could maybe say Adrenal. Got a little bit off that. Maybe not, because he built like 40 pylons until his warp gates were finally finished. Yeah. Way to go there, bud. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, both these players are in Diamond. So... Diamond on the European servers, so they're not that bad. Of course, Adrenal will tell you otherwise, because he's a humble son of a bitch, but whatever. Alright. Well, Rainer is moving out. Ursa Doc Calf. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways. Well, Rainer 38 versus. Fuck. 38. Nice force field there to keep the units from going up. I love Rainer's units. That's a really weak stalker. But uh, that'll probably uh, heal up his shields. And he'll have 90 overall HP. As opposed to just 10. Rainer's gonna be about 45 food now, but his reinforcements are still coming. Uh, oh, well, Rainer does have 4 gate. I forgot about this warp gate right there. Anyways. So, Adrenal occasionally you'll see him take his Zealot, run him like right there, like that for example. Uh, just to check out what well Rainer has. Uh, Adrenal definitely doesn't want to fight a an uphill battle. No pun intended. Actually, Adrenal will be fighting a downhill battle, wouldn't he? Because it's down this hill. But yeah, he wants to make sure he's not going to get overwhelmed. Uh, his warp gates are all the cooldowns that he's done on them, but he's going to see no minerals. Robotics facility is going down. Uh, initially for observers, and then later it's going to get colossi. Now, yeah, stalkers moving out. Yeah, at the moment it's more of a Mexican standoff because both players know if they charge down, if Adrenal charges down this ramp, he's probably going to get taken down. If Adrenal charges up this ramp, he's going to get taken down. So yeah, and. Uh, Alright, Lone Rainer charges up the ramp. You can see in a second here. Yeah, he just charges right back down. We're losing a zealot. Because, especially fighting uphill like that, especially with these sentries, I can just make force fields like right there and split up the army entirely. Lone Rainer definitely doesn't want that happening. Ooh, look at this. Nexus. Speaking of which, I should probably put the production tab up. So, what the hell? How is the Adrenal? Oh, that's Robotics Bay. Right. Robotics Facility is already up. Robotics Bay is going down, so that means Colossi are coming. And... So, Pylon. Interesting stuff. I know. I know. <sighs> it gets better, I swear. I can put out two times speed. Okay, we have a Pylon going down for the Rainer. That's so that he can spawn reinforcements, like right here. And then instead of walking across the entire map, they can just come up this ramp and join in on the fun. At the moment, they're all just, uh, I don't know what L. Rainer's units are doing, but Adrenal's units are all drinking tea. Having a little tea party. Yeah. You can tell they're British because the Zealots have really bad teeth. Like that. They don't even have teeth. See, this goes to prove my point. They have awful, awful dental care. Uh, Alright, Colossus finally out, so maybe now Adrenal will engage? Let's find out. Yeah, there we go. Zell's going down the hill, Guardian Shield going up, Colossi crying and stuff, and then breaking that Guardian Shield, which is always fun to see. Or not Guardian Shield, uh, Force Field. Always fun to see. They can just go like, pop. Anyways. Now Adrenal's moving out. 82 Food Army versus 82 Food Army. But... Adrenal's got a Colossus, and that's certainly going to help. I don't think Adrenal notices this pylon, and I hate when that happens. Oh, he does see it. I don't know why he didn't take it out. That could be very annoying. There's a Warp Prism. Now that's going to be annoying. Oh, Zealot. Zealots, Zealots, Zealots. Oh, these are all... Do you have 5-gate yet? Oh, it's just 4-gate. He does have a Robotics facility, though. And Robotics Bay. Colossi! Thermal Lance not being researched. 
or either way. We'll also do some troops along to get out of there. If you realize it's a very bad <laughs> battle to fight. Especially with the sentries and their force fields. Oh, well, there we go. I don't think take care of this out. I think Adrenal thinks that's where they came from. No, 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 I think he's smart. I think he realizes he's going to pull there. Well, he had to pull his pylons off because his Nexus just died. Zealots and support prison. The support prison is actually going to play a very key part in this game. You can see that. First off, Adrenal's dead. Or, I mean, his pain is gone. And this forces Adrenal to push. And this is where things get very, very interesting. He's got all his pylons here, or uh, probes. Zealots go up the ramp, force field block the Colossus. This Colossus is going to get taken down. Mad Micro there. And. <laughs> and all these stalkers, though, got surrounded by zealots and probes. They are screwed. Some more hidden runs for Colossus. It's almost down, but it's not going to get taken down to 22 HP. And this is going to become the focus point here for the next, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, 5 minutes or so. A bunch of zealots getting 450s and 6k. I got two. I don't know where the 6 are, but anyways, these zealots blocked off from his Colossus, desperately trying to get to that Colossus, because that's such a focus point right now. They get all taken down in the process. Probes doing their fair share here. Tanking up damage, dishing out a decent amount as well. Warp gates all getting taken down, although it probably would be easier just to take out this... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, it actually would be easier just to take out Pylon. 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 All the Warp gates are down. Uh, Adrenal stalker is being taken down here. But, uh... Looks like Adrenal's gonna win this one, right? Not so. Look at this. Look at this. Five gateways going up at this gold mineral expansion. The Cybernetics Court. And Adrenal has no idea that this is a problem. That's gonna be see the Colossus dance, trying to dance around all those zealots. Stalkers. But it's alive. 22 health of shields now. But it's alive. Adrenal's only got, it doesn't have enough for another uh, Nexus. And it doesn't work out if you can't sell items or anything. Oh, no items to sell. So he's going to have to win this with his 65 food army. And right now, Adrenal has no idea. Okay, actually, he probably does. Uh, yeah, so he's gonna try to take down these warlords. And Laner, well, Raynor is probably gonna warp some stuff. Yeah, it does. It does boost uh, the cooldown. Of course, I could be totally wrong about this. And you can see now, if you haven't already 